We are on component two of the Holy Cross mocks, and this is mock two, and we're on to question six. The community present in a roadside ecosystem was investigated. What is meant by a community and ecosystem? Lots of strange answers here. Um, you've got a glossary in the back of your textbook, and these are in your notes as well. So. Uh, community, ecosystem, along with lots of other words. So make sure you know the technical meaning of words because they, they do crop up like this. So a community um, is kind of all the organisms in an area you know, or an ecosystem or an environment. So it's all the, so population is just one species, community is all of the species. So like community, cats, dogs, mice, rabbits, uh, population would be just rabbits, that, that sort of thing. So, all the organisms present in an area. And ecosystem, well, it's all the organisms and how they interact with all the kind of biotic and abiotic things, so like sun, sunlight and water and each other, that sort of thing. So, it's, you know, the community and the habitat. So, e.g., they're all biotic, so living things and abiotic non-living things in an area so factors in an area here's <coughs> a section of road with a sloping bank and a hedge on each side and some data for plants that they have found there and we've calculated an index of diversity for the south facing and the north facing has got a blank. This looks ominous. Use the formula. Oh, here we go. And calculate an index of diversity. Right. So there's not a lot of space, um, but we're using this, this equation here. Uh, so diversity equals 1 minus. Then we've got some stuff on the top and some stuff on the bottom. So sum of, which means add them up, or add up all of the n times n minus ones. So let's have a look. These are all these are all n's. Okay, and then the total is big N. So little ends of each each individual species, the total is big N. And it it gives a it gives kind of a summary of it there. So let's let's go and this one I'm gonna put it in even though it's gonna be zero. So we are n times n minus one, so zero times by zero minus one. Zero minus one. So zero times anything is zero, so that's gonna be zero. Uh, and let's do the same. 8 times by 8 minus 1 plus 4 times by 4 minus 1 plus 0 times by 0 minus 1. You'd leave these bank probably. Plus 10 times by 10 minus 1 plus 1 times by 1 minus 1, yikes, and here we go, 10 times by 10 minus 1, all divided by our total, what's our total, so 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 10 is 22, 23, and plus 10 is 33. So 33 times by 33 minus 1. So if I write this out again, 1 minus, well, 
0 times 0, that's 0, plus 8 times 7, 8 times 7, should know your, your 8 times table, or your 7 times table, it's 56, look at this, nice calculator, uh, how do we work it, there we are, uh, 8 times by 7, 56, all those years in primary school weren't wasted, 56 plus 4 times 3 is 12, plus 0, plus 10 times by 10, 10 times 9 is 90, plus 1 times by 1 minus 1, so 1 times 0 is 0, plus, and that one's going to be 90 again, all divided by 33 times by 33 minus 1. Uh, I don't know that one. Sorry. 33 times by 32 is 1056. And we're still going 1 minus, so let's add these up now. So 56 plus 12 plus 90 plus 90 is 248 248 I've still got this with 1 minus hanging around over here um, divided by 1056 so divide that by 1056 is 0. Uh, squeeze in here 1 minus 0. 2, 3, 4, 8, 4, 8, 4, blah, 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 blah. And so let's, let's do that. So 1 minus 0 0.2348 is 0 0.7652 equals 0 0.7652. And so our index of diversity um, what precision shall I give it to? What precision shall I give it to? Well, always go with what they've given you as an example. So there are two decimal places there. So I'm going to do this to two, two decimal places. So uh, 0.7 and then is that going to be rounded up or stay the same? There's a 5 after it so we're going to round it up. So index of diversity is 0.77. So you should be happy doing that. If you can't do that you just need to practice them. Uh, give one advantage of calculating the index of diversity rather than just recording you know, number of species. So if we just record a number of species we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 there and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 there. So 7 there and 5 there. But, that, but you know there's only one thistle so that is counted as a whole kind of big species whereas you know there's more individuals of southern. So this index takes into account the numbers of individuals as well as the the variety of species. So takes account of the number of individuals You know, the, the population size um, as well as number of species. Suggest and explain how one abiotic factor might have caused a difference. So abiotic is things like water, sunlight, those sorts of things and you might not because you haven't bought a house so you might not have worried too much about this but the we, we think the the sun rises in the the east and goes to the west but actually we're in the northern hemisphere then we find that if if we're looking south then the sunshine tends to hit it more square on than 
than a north facing bank. So these south facing bank tend to be in the sunshine more and you know gets shaded less. And we need to relate that to plant growth. So now if, if I say it like that, how do we relate sunshine to plant growth? Well you can now talk about photosynthesis and so on. So going to have, uh, let's say, south facing bank and well we don't even, we don't even need to mention south facing now here yet, we can just go more light can't we, you know, has more light for example, but we, we, do, we don't necessarily need to mention the south facing, so more light, so more light, more photosynthesis, and you know about photosynthesis producing sugars you know, from the, the Calvin cycle and, and light dependent reactions and so on, and that will have more sugars so we can get it faster. Uh, and more sugars for growth. I actually this this question says it uh, suggests another you know, abiotic factor. Well, it might be warmer in one place than another, so we can go uh, warmer, and so our effect on enzymes, so more kinetic energy for enzymes, so more growth. That that sort of thing as well. Explain why the south facing bank is more likely to show more stability. Well, it says explain, but this is probably suggesting that you haven't learned this. So, we've suggested it gets more light, this is more, more growth, and the conditions are better for, for growing more plants, so there's more individuals of, of the plants there. On the north, for example, the thistle that we've mentioned, there's only one, so if anything goes wrong with that one, well then you've, you've wiped out an entire you know, population really. Um, so more of each tends to be more stable. So south facing um, has you know, better conditions for plants. There are more species, and that, that's given us a higher diversity. Yeah, we could go into you know, more detail, more niches, and you know, com complex interactions between between these. Um, but the, essentially, you know changes in any of our abiotic factors like water or warmth or sun will have less less influence or less dramatic influence changes in abiotic factors will have less effect even if we lose lose one species so even if one species is lost. So if you lose one species on the south facing then it's not going to be critical for our diversity. Losing one out of out of five on the north will be have, have more an effect. So a little bit tricky to get to get those last three but certainly your calculation, your definitions um, and explanation of that you, you should have got you should have got those certainly.